Well, hello everyone. For me, it's a pleasure to be here today to be the fairness team that take the floor. Um, I am Eduardo and I am the project lead of uh, Dubnot. I would like to cite this moment to explain how we use the Algon PM to build an essential uh, piece of Dubnot. Some of you maybe have already started to hear or know about Dubnot. Um, for us, that is an amazing thing. To achieve so much impact in less than one year, and more than that, uh, the world welcome of the community proves that uh, our project is needed in this ecosystem. But to put in context those who still don't know about our project, I would like to play our presentation video since it's going to give you a glimpse of our goals. Dapnode is open source software that can be installed on your own device to create a decentralized hardware layer which allows anyone to run their own nodes, making it easy for every kind of user to achieve the full potential of decentralized technologies. When we stop using centralized platforms to access decentralized services, we create a censorship-resistant network that is maintained by users but controlled by no single entity. Now, without anyone but you controlling your device, your data and your privacy are finally secure. Our system of sharing access makes it easy to create trust circles within communities. By sharing a single device with family and friends, you support a node that is part of a trusted network. By running your own secured hardware, you are able to contribute to and enjoy the benefits of a truly decentralized web. Whether you're an average user or a developer that wants to smooth your work process, you can easily deploy Dapnode on your machine, which gives you access to all the services you need. And with a few clicks, you can deploy a secure and private version of your favorite dApps and nodes. Dapnode connects its users to a real P2P economy where they can receive incentives and rewards for sharing resources or maintaining nodes, thus encouraging mass adoption of decentralized technologies. By deploying a Dapnode within your community, you become a gateway to a decentralized re-evolution and a trusted resource for your friends and family. Join us by installing Dapnode and become a part of the truly decentralized web. Welcome to Dapnode. Thanks. Well, to, to sum up in one line, we are open source project that wants to create a decentralized hardware layer at, at the same time and adds the mass adoption of decentralized technologies. So yes, we are eaglets. We told our vision to Luis and Maria and they believe in us from the first moment. They didn't hesitate to support us. And since we are an open source project uh, that is a project to be designed for the community, the support of this kind of initiatives like Aragon Nest or Ethereum or even Ethereum Community Fund is something fundamental for our, for our aim, that is to uh, create an open source project for the community. So um, the, fund um, the fundamental point is uh, we, we want to have um, a project that follow the, um, the vision of the community and the support of this project means that we are in the right path. The financial help of the Aragon Nest uh, provides to our project a great boss and it played a role important to achieve the current state. So for that, I would like to publicly thank you to the Aragon Nest for, for giving so much love, so much support, and so much help. Thank you, guys. You're awesome. <laughs> so, well, let's start to talk about the challenge that we are facing back in March last year. We had built a Docker modular system in which had we, we had the essential pieces that we want to have to create a decentralized uh, box. Uh, there were uh, an IPFS, full, uh, IPFS node, an Ethereum full node, a VPN module that allow us to connect to the system, an internal DNS resolver, and the ETH forward. The ETH forward is a module that helps to translate ENS address into um, IPFS has, uh, the IPFS has of a website. But we want to build something more, something more powerful, and we want to have the option or the possibility to add new packages to the system and that they can start to interact with the other, other packages that we have. So we realized that we want to, to build a kind of uh, repository, decentralized repository mechanisms, and 
obviously our first uh, requirement is that should be decentralized. We want to distribute the content through IPFS, since it's part of the core, and uh, it was a convenient way to do it in a decentralized way. We want to prove the integrity of the package using a smart contracts, and we want to manage all the packages using a DAO. So the answers to, this, to these questions, uh, to, uh, to this challenge, uh, came to us during the audit of the smart contracts of Argon that Jordi Bailina was doing. And he realized the smart contracts that they are developing are uh, perfect for our needs. It matches in our situation. So we deployed the first Aragon project DAO in the Ethereum mainnet uh, back in March. And we started to build our system uh, on top of the Aragon package manager. So now that we have all the pieces, we have Docker to provide the services, we have IPFS um, to to serve the contain, the contain, and we have the Aron package manager to link all the things. It was time to make some hard work <laughs> and create an important build feature of our system that is called the dot manager and is responsible to manage all the packages. So let's put an example. Let's imagine that we want to build the Gorley package for the amazing GorleyCon that is happening this week here in, in Berlin. Um, for that, we only need to create a Docker image, uh, compress it, and upload it to IPFS. With that, we get uh, an IPFS hash with the content of that image. The next step is to write a file that we call manifest with this information, but adding some more important information, like the name, description, the volume that we want to make per series, or, or the links of, of the package in, in the admin UI. Uh, with this file, we are going to load to IPFS again, and this is the final hash that we are going to link to our uh, repository the Aragon, using the Aragon package manager, and we are going to link to an exact version getting an ENS hash of, uh, with the content of our package. Right now, we have two registries in mainnet. Uh, we have the dmp. Dot, uh, DMP dot dot this and the public dot dot this that is the public one in which everyone can develop his own packages. We have an SDK to make this process easy for everyone. So any, anyone that wants to develop a download package can do it right now. So please do it. Um, now let's take a look from the point of view of the final user. So now that we have a package, we can create something like this. We can get um, a button that at the time that you click install, you are going to be redirected to the dubnot admin UI in which the installer are going to uh, read the content from the IP hash, uh, hash and uh, it's going to um, install it at the moment that you click on the button install. The thing that is happening is the reverse process. We go to IPFS, we get the, the Docker image, we extract it, and it's just a matter to load in the system and starting. And after a while, you are running your own uh, Gorley package in your own home I with only a matter of 30 seconds and, and two clicks. And we believe that this is amazing and is one of the key points of the dub node. Without any kind of knowledge, uh, technical knowledge, you can have a uh, node running in your own home. But the love story between Aragon and Damnot uh, doesn't end with the Aragon package manager. Uh, back in December, we need to create an uh, NFT. So we start to figure out what is the best uh, way to do it. Uh, at the beginning, it was just a standard NFT, and the common one. Uh, but after several talks, and a talk with Jorge, we realized that uh, the Aragon app fits uh, perfectly with our needs. So we develop an Aragon app for issuing NFTs using a DAO. So now you can install it, this NFT into your DAO, and automatically you can mint and board your NFTs using your governance in your own DAO. But yeah, I understand that maybe it's hard to understand why we need a dub, um, NFT in DAMNOT. Um, we believe that maybe in the future it's going to be uh, one of the keys for our sustainability. We want to pro give this uh, NFT to the hardware providers that are going to sell um, a box with the DAMNOT pre -installed. 
The, the intention is uh, have a way to prove that the people that are buying a box with this op uh, open source system, Ithalit, are um, uh, authorized pro vendor providers. At the same time, uh, we want to give to people that want to contribute with our association. It's like a patch. If you want to help us to make the association sustainability, just buy an NFT. And we want to use, like, um, to get some kind of metrics. Since we are not tracking people, it's hard to give numbers or about the number of nodes in the network. So with this NFT, we can know uh, the hormone factors that are in the market, the model, the version, and all the stuff without tracking the, the final user. Um, well, the last thing is a cool thing. We developed another Aragon app that is the manager NFT that allow you, allow you to um, to issue um, NFTs in exchange of any kind of ERC20, even die, and that is the a cool thing. So um, yeah, uh, I hope that right now you have a better idea about what is Dabno uh, and how we build an essential piece of, piece of our system based on the Aragon package manager. Um, yes, we are an open source project. Any any help is more than welcome. Please tally it. Um, help us to decentralize the world. So thank you. Thank you so much.